Shown here is the glass rear roof upgrade for the early Boxsters that only had plastic rear windows. As you can see, the window is a bit smaller than the plastic version. Begin by placing the roof into the service position. For additional assistance with that task, please follow the link provided at the end of this video. Remove the two front latches, green arrows, and screws that hold the side seal, purple arrow, and the front retaining rail, yellow arrows. With the attachment screws removed, pull down and remove the front convertible top seal. Inspect this seal carefully. You might want to replace it if it's old or damaged. Remove the seal retainer by removing the four screws shown here. With the seal channel removed, you can access the support underneath. Remove these small Phillips screws. With the screws removed, you should be able to lift up the front part of the convertible top. Much of it will be stuck to the frame with double-sided adhesive. Peel it back slowly and carefully to avoid damaging the frame. The top is attached to a plastic channel piece that runs down the center of the car. Remove the metal clip in the center that affixes the channel to the top. Pull back the top and then you should be able to slide this channel piece off of the top. Pull in the direction of the red arrow. On the top of the roof will be two aluminum pieces with a cable and spring attached. Cut away the plastic shrink wrapping and disconnect the cable from the end of the spring. With the cable removed from the spring, remove it from the end of the aluminum channel. This cable is used to guide the top around the window frames when raising or lowering the roof and is integrated sewn into the roof lining. Taking caution not to damage the aluminum panels, cut them out from the old roof and place them on your workbench. You will be reusing these on the new top. Turn on the ignition and carefully lower the roof so that it's about 75% down. Remove the screw that holds the other end of the tensioning cable. This screw also secures a flap on the top and the plastic slider. Be careful not to drop it into the recesses of the roof compartment as it can be difficult to retrieve. There is a plastic slider piece that is attached to the top liner and held onto the frame with two plastic rivets. Using care, remove the rivets and squeeze the prongs from behind and pull the piece out of the frame. This photo shows the back side of the slider piece with a plastic rivet broken. It's very easy to damage this piece when removing it, but new ones are inexpensive. With the rivets detached from the frame, the slider piece can be removed from the top by peeling back the top material, yellow arrow and sliding its groove out of the plastic retainer that is sewn into the top liner, green arrow. Here is what the frame looks like after you have pulled out the plastic slider piece. Arrows show the two pivot holes. There are two Velcro straps, one on each side, that need to be loosened and disconnected. Move the top back to its original position of about 18 inches open and be sure that the ball joint cable is disconnected. Lift up the rear of the top and there will be a thick piece of weather stripping that seals the trunk to the top. Carefully remove this seal, taking care not to rip it. Pull up on the weather strip channel located in the middle of the channel and remove it. Pull back the roof material from the channel. You may find it easier to remove the locking strip first. The yellow arrow points to the locking strip that holds the roof fabric to the channel. Remove this strip. The last step in the removal of the roof is to slide it out of the channel that is attached to the middle bar of the roof frame. Go over the roof frame carefully and remove all traces of double-sided tape and residue with a mild degreaser and alcohol. Also clean the two aluminum pieces that you removed from the original roof. Apply new tape to the aluminum pieces. Poke holes in the new fabric for the screws and then affix the new fabric using the double-sided tape. Attach the cable to the spring and wrap with some tape or heat shrink tubing. Cut and bend the flaps into place as shown and affix with double-sided tape, yellow arrow. 
take the two plastic sliders removed earlier and transfer them to the new roof liner. Push each slider onto the liner in the direction indicated by the yellow arrow. Install the new roof onto the frame, first sliding the middle part into the rear channel. I suggest covering the rear window with some paper and tape to avoid accidentally scratching it during the installation process. Slide the middle plastic channel into the roof liner. Use a light bit of silicone spray on the plastic piece if you're having a tough time getting this threaded. Affix the middle plastic channel to the frame using the metal clip. Apply some 3M Super Weather Strip adhesive to the channel and then screw down the top liner using the sheet metal screws. With the roof about 75% open, snap the slider pieces back into place on both the left and right sides and reinstall the plastic rivet. On the roof that we installed, the new liner included a set of helper straps that needed to be affixed to this rivet. After the slider pieces are installed, reattach the roof cable using the screws removed earlier. Move the roof back to about 18 inches open. At the rear of the car, measure the center of the window and the center of the rear channel and mark the liner and the channel so that you can line them up during the next step. Apply double-sided adhesive tape to the rear channel in the same manner as it was when you removed the old top. Lining up the rear and making sure it's centered, feed the top material into the top of the rear channel. Keep the seam aligned slightly low along the edge of the rail, otherwise the seam may be visible when the top is closed. Usually a small rubber hammer to tap in the locking strip, shown by the orange arrow. Reinstall the rear weather stripping into the middle channel. Reinstall the thicker seal into the lower channel. We used double-sided tape for this, but the seal repeatedly fell out when the roof was raised and lower. Consider using a good 3M Super Weather Strip instead if this happens. Apply more tape to the front edge of the material in the same place where it was on the old roof liner. Pull the roof material tight and affix the front channel and seal into place. Pull and affix evenly to avoid getting wrinkles in the top. If you installed a roof with the defroster capability, then plug in the connection. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.